this video I'm going to talk about the Van Hoff factor. And well, the Van Hoff factor simply represents the number of particles that are produced from a reaction. So basically you want to see how many particles you have in your product side. And we represent the Van Hoff factor with the letter I. So when we think about number of particles that are produced in a reaction, we have to think about ionization. So basically, if a reactant is going to be an electrolyte and ionized in water or a non-electrolyte. So in other words, this is going to ionize and a non-electrolyte won't because it's a molecular compound. So let's look at some examples for each. For the case of the electrolyte. The most common example is, of course, NaCl, sort of table salt, that is going to be solid. And when we put it in water, H2O, we see that it ionizes into sodium plus and chlorine negative. So the sodium is our cation and the chlorine is, on, is our anion. And they're both aqueous. So the question you want to ask yourself is how many particles were produced out of this reaction? And you can see two different things. You can see the sodium and the chlorine. So that means that our I, our Van Hoff factor, is going to be two. So to complement our definition a little better, is the number of particles produced. So now let's look at the case of a molecular compound, a non-electrolyte. So it won't ionize in water. And coming out of salt, so NaCl, let's think about glucose. Glucose has the structure, the formula of C6H12O6. And this is solid. And when we put it in water, we don't see glucose separate into different ions. It basically just becomes aqueous. So instead of being solid, it's now aqueous. But it didn't separate into into any ions. There is no cation. There is no one ion. It's it's still molecular. So when we count our products, we'll see that our Van Hoff factor is equal to one. Because I mean, there was only one thing produced. And I'll give you one more example so you can think of this better. Let's say we have something like magnesium chloride, MgCl two. So this is a solid. When we put it in water, H2O, what's going to happen is, because magnesium chloride is an electrolyte, it will dissociate into a cation and an anion. Magnesium, in this case, is our cation, Mg2+, and then we'll get chlorine as an anion. But to balance this, we need to put a 2 in here. Let me make it more visible. So there we go, we have Mg2 plus, plus 2 Cl minus formed. And when we count that, the Van Hoff factor is going to be equal to 3. This 2 right here is where you have to be careful. Because you may see two products being formed, but you also have to take into account the coefficient of each product. And well, that's it for the Van Hoff factor. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful and if you did please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one.